Okay, as promised, I'm back for example two. <clears throat> there are two problems within this. Um, and yes, I did catch there is a example 1a, example 1b, and then example two just goes on to do b and c, so I don't know what's up with that. But example two, um, similar but kind of the reverse um, of example one, we're still writing the equations and working with the um, trig function graphs. But instead of identifying the parts, we're being given the parts, we need to write the equation. So I would recommend kind of a step-by-step a -step process I use is um, if I'm being given the characteristics, the properties of those four pieces, I like to then take those and find the A, the B, the C, and the D of the equation. And then final step is to write the equation. So. Um, I guess in that sense, I would just say, you know, A equals, um, so our amplitude is one half. So we would just 0 0.5. Done. Easy enough. B, B is a little trickier. Remember, um, 2 pi over B is our period, right? And so um, if we're being told the period's pi, we say 2 pi over B equals period, which is pi. So we need to find what is B equal. Well, you can kind of look at this mental math, or if you flip this around, 2 pi over pi equals B. Um, but in the end, we find B is equal to 2. Right? Because if you put 2 pi over 2 for B, that just cancels the 2s, and you're left with pi. So B is 2. See? That simple. C is our phase shift. And again, that's just right there. It's pi over 4. And I kind of ran out of room, so we're just going to say D. It's easy enough, though. Vertical shift is D. D is 4. So over here, I'm going to write that out. So I could say F of X equals. Uh, oh, by the way, we are <laughs> we're being told to write a sine function, so we do need to Make sure that we note that. So A times sine, so 0 0.5. B times X minus C. B was 2, so 2 parentheses X minus C. C was a positive pi over 4. X minus pi over 4. Uh, D, a vertical shift, 4 plus 4. See, it is... Really, truly that simple. Step one, get your A, B, C, and D. Step two, plug those into your equation. Let's try C. So again, A, wow, terrible A. Try that again. A, there we go. A is one. So this way I've got to make sure I got room. Our period is 2. Period is equal to 2 pi over b. If you flip places of b and 2, you get b is 2 pi over 2, thus giving us b is equal to pi. Phase shift, negative 3, so c, negative 3. Vertical shift down 4, negative 4. So here we go, f of, I'll switch it up, f of t. Amplitude is 1. I'm not going to write a coefficient of 1. I'm just going to say sine of b, so pi times the quantity t. c is negative 3, so instead of x minus c, I've got to write, sorry, T minus C, I've got to write it as T plus 3. And then our vertical shift was down 4, so we write negative 4. So it's as simple as that. The coefficient of 1, again, you don't really write it, um, but it is 1 times sine of pi times the quantity T plus 3, since C was negative. So, wow, that was less than half the time it took me to do example 1. But um, I will stop it there just because it's a nice stopping point. And our third type in video three, um, 
some people seem to feel like this is the hardest one to do in terms of like what we're given versus what they're asking for. But uh, example three, yes, you will be given a graph with some critical points and you will have to write the equation from there. So stay tuned. We'll get example three going here in just a minute.